Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing my first gun video. Just going to have some fun here on the range. A little bit of shooting. And maybe I'll review the gun a little bit. Tell you guys a thing or two uh, about the gun. The gun today is... <laughs> is a Ruger SR-22. Get the magazine out. This is unloaded. Safety's on. Ruger SR-22. It's a 22 long rifle. It's got a thumb safety on both sides. It's got a slide release on the, the left, like most guns. And mag release on both sides. You don't have to swap it back and forth. You can just use either side, which is nice. Single double. Adjustable rear sights. I'm sure you could probably drift the front sight, but I don't see why you would do that. Adjustable up and down, left and right. And today we're going to be shooting some uh, Blazer 22 long rifle. Blazer ammunition. But, uh, 22 is really hard to get a hold of these days for some reason. And I have here three magazines. Stock magazine, right here, stock magazine, the thumb things, these thumb things, you can push them down and help reload, tabs, and then I have, here I have a follower that helps me add, a, or that adds plus three to the magazine, so a stock magazine, which is this, has ten rounds. This is an aftermarket follower, which adds three more, so it will hold 13. There's a drawback to this. It doesn't have these tabs, and this tab is required to uh, help hold the slide open. So the slide comes open because it gets stuck on this, but if you, if you eject the magazine, the slide pops back forward. I usually just uh, pull it back and push the slide lock up so it's locked. But if you don't like that, you shouldn't get these. I got these uh, from, I believe it was GallowayPositions.com. If not, I'll correct it. Anyway, let's uh, do have a little fun, do some shooting. Put the stock one in first, or the factory one in first. There's a, something I don't like about this. When you slam the, thi the magazine in, it has this rubber thing, which you can take off rubber back strap and you can put a bigger back strap or a smaller back strap. Pop that in. There we get rid of the magazine. Still unloaded. And you can take that off. But when you put a magazine in, this one is loaded. We'll point it down range. And you don't put it in hard, that time it went in. But if you don't put it in hard, you really have to push on it. If you just like let it go, it kind of doesn't like going in. But you slam it in, it goes in every time. Just use a little bit of force. Make sure nobody's coming. <laughs> but yep, that's the Ruger SR22. Pointed down range. Finger off the trigger, safety's on. Check our magazines. And we'll do some shooting. I have put a few targets up that little pop up target and some bottles, some clay pigeons. See how we do. I'm not the best shot in the world, but I can hit my target eventually. <laughs> uh, all right, rack one in the chamber, and we'll do double action first. First pull the double action, every other pull is single, and we'll see what we can do. All right, I have my ears on. Might get in the way here a little bit. Yeah, anyway, I have my ears on under my helmet. And let's see if we can hit something. There we go. It's actually really quiet with my helmet on and my earplugs in. Unfortunately, that diamond thing, let's put the safety on, that diamond thing up over there, probably shouldn't, 
it doesn't go in very the ground very well. The ground is very hard here, and it has spikes that drives it in. So I can't really drive those spikes in to hold this target in place. All right, let's do some more shooting. Do a little another double action shot. There we go. Slow down a little bit, so I don't don't go too fast. I'm not the best shot in the world. I'm no Hickok 45 or anything, but I get the job done. Hit that clay pigeon if I can. Ah. And we're out. Slide comes open. Drop the mag. Pop in one of these. Uh, Magazines with the aftermarket follower goes in, racks right in just fine. See if we can hit it this time. There we go. But yeah, that's how it works. Like I said, not the best shot in the world, but I can get it done. Let's hit that bottle, see if I can make it go flying. I can't believe I missed that. Uh, there we go. Kill it. Probably a little nervous because I've never actually filmed myself and with the intent of putting it on YouTube. <laughs> but well, doing my best. Get better with practice. That thing bounces around. Ah, shoot that bottle again. It's pretty much drained. And it goes flying. Let's see if we can hit that play, kill a pigeon again. Or that other one. A little low. There we go. And we're out. And this is the downfall of this follower. See, there's the follower. We are empty. There's the follower here. I'll even put the safety on. It gets hung up on the follower over here. And then when you drop the magazine, it goes home. Because it gets hung up right here on the follower. Instead of having this notch on the side that holds the slide, or that pushes the slide uh, lock up, or it doesn't have that because it got smaller to make accommodate for more rounds. So there's a drawback to that. If you want to practice mag changes and stuff like that, I wouldn't recommend these magazines. But they are great for just target practice, just plinking. You have uh, extra rounds, so you don't have to load as much. And uh, it's nice to have. Let's hit that triangle again, double action. Try that again, double action. Double action is uh, pretty pretty strong pull, or pretty, uh, it's a harder pull. I don't know what it's rated at, probably like seven or eight. And then the single is probably rated at like four or five. I don't know for sure. I haven't looked that up and I haven't tested it, but it seems to me like that's about right. Um, I have put, I don't even know, more than 3,000 rounds through this gun. And it functions flawlessly when I first got it. It ran most any, pretty much any ammo I put through it. Let's shoot that bottle while I yap. Uh, yeah, I'll try to shoot that bottle at least. So, safety on. Yeah, it ran flawlessly when I first got it. And all the ammo I was able to get, since it's so hard to get any ammo. And later on, I had some issues with a few types of ammo. Uh, mostly due to uh, 
probably because I didn't clean it super well. I gave it a quick wipe down. I guess I got a little lazy. But if you clean it really well, get all the grit and grime off of it, it shoots pretty well with most ammo. My gun, I never adjusted it, although it's adjustable, I've never adjusted it. It shoots at about a 6 o'clock hold, uh, and i gotten used to it and I like it, so. And we're out. So, uh, I've kept it that way. So there you have it. Yeah, we have another clay, I'm going to shoot that real quick. Put the lock on. Here's my bike. I came up with my bike. Look at that. Two more rounds. We should be able to get it done. Two more rounds, right? I believe I can hit it with two more rounds. I don't have a table or anything. I need to get like something to put things on. I have my bike, but yeah. Put that in. Chamber it. And I am a lefty, as you may have noticed. I shoot with my left hand. I know, weird. Who else shoots with their left hand? Let's see if we can hit it with double action. If not, we'll hit it with that single action. Yep, and there we have it. Shoot one more round at that diamond. And... There you go. Empty. Drop the magazine, safety on, empty. So there you have it, Ruger SR-22. Great little gun, well worth the money. Probably the best 22 of its type. Uh, it's kind of made to be more of a duty um, style target gun. It looks like a real duty gun, but it's in 22. And it works well. Shoots almost anything. Yeah, there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll try to do some more videos in the future. We'll see how it goes. And you guys have fun. Stay safe. Night.